Hey, um, so my name is Zoe. I am a real big Disney fan, um, and we are going to Disney again in a couple of days. So I thought I would share some of my tips for packing with you because all of my friends constantly um, send me messages if they're going to Disney to ask me things about Disney. So I thought, hey, let's try and give other people some advice. Uh, it might, might not be advice that you want to hear or might not be useful to you, but hopefully it is. So when packing your bags, there are some things um, that I think you can A, save money on and B, um, little just tips for things that you can do, especially when you're going long haul or particularly America, Florida. Um, so obviously it's nice weather in Florida, however, it does rain. So first thing you need to make sure you take your max for all the kids. And these are great because they fold up so you can stick them um, in a bag or something. They're not very heavy to carry. So my lovely Mac is ready to go in the bag. Uh, I take these because when I uh, go to Florida, particularly, I love to go to the uh, outlet centers. And my husband always spends most of the last couple of days panicking at the mound of shopping that we have sat on our bed and he panics that he can't get it back in the case. So I've now started taking these with me. So we just basically put all our new stuff in, um, make sure we've detagged it and everything. It's probably worn it sometimes during the holiday as well. Um, and um, most hotels will either lend you a, um, a hoover to suck all the, actual, the um, air out or you can just roll it up and it means that it saves a lot of space in the case um, and a lot easier so that's a big tip for me um, if you're staying in um, a villa or well even in a Disney hotel we're staying in a Disney hotel this time and they have laundrettes the only thing is obviously laundrettes are quite expensive uh, you have to pay for the machine, you have to pay for the dryer, you also have to pay for the little tablets. The tablets are quite expensive. So uh, what I've done this time is just gone to Aldi and bought these for a couple of quid. Um, obviously um, you can buy these at Walmart when you get there, but generally in Walmart they sell them in big packs and although they're still quite reasonably cheap, um, on the way out I'm not taking that much luggage um, because I'm hoping to buy it all there. So, um, so this is, is great for me, 20 tabs. Um, it's gonna save me some money while I'm out there. That's a great, um, also because obviously I want to um, use most of my weight coming back um, and generally I take an empty case out there to fill. Um, I wanna take things that I don't necessarily have to bring back. So I've got quite a few of these actually. Um, tips for things that you're gonna take anyway um, I've got a new one of these. I've put my new one in my cupboards and I'm taking the half used one That means that I can obviously use it out there and I can leave whatever's there It doesn't really affect me if you do that with your you know um, Moisturizer your sun cream your after sun your deodorant your shampoo your conditioner. That's quite a weighty um, Amount that you can obviously fill up with clothes shoes bags anything you like instead so um, yeah I always take, try and take half full stuff um, for um, for the kids they like to do their autograph books now we've been a couple of times well a few times now um, and always bought our autograph books in the parks that's a great thing they're quite expensive but they do come with um, on every page they have a photo insert. The ones you buy in Walmart generally don't have photo inserts so you have to either stick the photos which is fine but it doesn't look quite as nice. Well this time I had a look on the Disney store um, in the UK and um, they had these autograph books. Um, so one for girls, one for boys. Um, they cost me £5.95 um, and uh, I, I paid the delivery as well which I think was a couple of quid um, and they've got the photo inserts as well so I can take those they're still Disney um, not that that matters but for us we, we wanted that 
so um and that's a lot cheaper because they're about i would say 15 17 bucks in the disney store in the disney um emporium actually in disney so obviously that's that's a good money saving tip um there's also lots of things obviously it gets hot out there so um oh no one more thing actually on the um autographs i always take sharpies as well um because the pens that they come with aren't always great and they don't show up whereas the sharpies they can um they can choose different colors um for the characters that they want to get their autographs or they can go with one color but it's nice nice um bold and you can see the autograph nice and clearly so i definitely even if you only take one sharpie it's worth doing totally um right yeah so sorry back on to um other stuff things that i've i've, I've actually gone to the pound shop um and bought some dive sticks because my kids are really like swimming and everything again you get three for a pound and I'm going to take them and when we've finished with them at the end of the holiday I'm going to leave them because it's a pound so it's not it's not a major same with this it gets hot, it's hot in the parks so what I've done is just gone into Poundlands and bought some garden plant sprayers so I'm gonna um obviously these weigh nothing and again two for a pound so I'm going to take those we're going to take them around the parks it's quite nice to just spritz yourself cool yourself down um and then I'm going to leave them again um so that's quite nice um if you're hiring a car um i suggest this is the useful one just take one of these so that you can put your iphone charger i'm presuming you'll be taking your um charger whether it's an iphone or another um phone um with you anyway because if you're there for a long time you need to charge your phone so you've got the wire already just pop that in um and again i mean this one's not from poundland but I'm, I'm sure you can pick them up from poundland quite quite cheaply so yeah um right the other thing is these when you go around the parks a lot of the cast members have these pin trading um my kids don't always get into it but i think they're, they're quite interested in doing it in this trip um, so what, what, what I've done is rather than waiting to get to the park and purchase them which you normally get a lanyard and I think it's five pins they're quite expensive the starter kit I, I can't remember how much but probably about 20-30 bucks um, I just went on eBay and I have bought this lanyard um, and he's got quite a few pins certainly more than five um, I've bought that for my son I've bought one for my daughter as well um and on ebay that was a total of a couple of quid so that's great for me because uh they can trade i'm not i'm not bothered about it they can you know get the pins that they want to and it hasn't cost me anything just with a little bit of preparation before i've gone um so yeah definitely do that um we have been to America quite a few times now um, and on the last trip um, we found that obviously with two parents, two kids, you've got one in the toilet, one in a queue or uh, one grabbing food or something and you kind of, it's an easy place to get lost. Um, you've got one kid each, you want to keep in contact as to where you, where you are, where you're going, um, where you are in the queue so that the other one can catch up. And we were, um, obviously you get free Wi-Fi at Disney. Um, we were using that, but obviously it's not always great. Um, the Wi-Fi in America in general is not as good as it is in the UK. Um, so what I did last time is I actually went to Walmart um, and I bought two cheap pay-as-you-go phones. Um, they are American phones, they're American Sims, um, and they cost me 14 bucks each. Um, I gave one to my husband and I have one and we kept them we brought them home and basically we are just going to take them back out we're going to get another top up and then we've got our American phones which means that you know to ring and sort of say oh you know where are you in the queue oh I'm here is a hell of a lot cheaper it's a couple of cent rather than you know uh, calling back to England then bouncing it back to where they are and here stood you know just uh, ahead of you so 
that's that's good especially if you're going for say two weeks um and you want to save money it, it doesn't maybe not seem like you save money but thirty dollars there and that's what um 18 but 18 pounds or something um i would spend that more than that on the phone calls that we made um so that was that was good and obviously if you're going to go back again and that's any part of america um you've obviously got a cell phone you've got a number and all you need to do is buy the top up which you can do at walmart or you can buy in advance online um, and get it shipped to your hotel that's another tip that we've um we've got um we have just bought um an ipod touch um and i've bought it from apple.com um i've had it shipped to the hotel um and that will be arriving at the hotel uh friday or saturday um so that's tomorrow um or the next day and we actually leave here on sunday and arrive sunday evening and our parcel will be sat there waiting for us um i've uh, sent the hotel a quick email just to say um, and on the address when I filled it in I have put guests arriving and my date of what um, when I'm arriving um, on the actual address where I've put my name so that it's quite clear to the person receiving it and I've also emailed them um, that way you don't have to if it's something you know you want like an iPhone or a camera or something like that rather than going to Best Buy, um, which although, you know, it's, it's nice to have a look around, um, it's, it's not that near to Disney. Um, so, you know, save, save you time sort of driving all the way to Best Buy. If you know what you want, you can just look on the website and do that straight away. Um, is there anything else? Um, I would just suggest that if you, if you go to Disney, um, and you purchased any souvenirs or anything um, we've got silly little thing um, a little hook um, here you put the top you put this down uh, your bottleneck um, and then you can clip that to your bag and you're actually holding your bottle this was a silly little purchase that we bought uh, a few times ago when we were at Disney um, I think it cost us a couple of bucks we threw it in the kitchen cupboard um, and I'm taking it with me this time so I don't have to buy it again um, it's quite handy we've we've got quite quite a few little things like this um, I bought my daughter little Minnie Mouse ears on clips so she can be Minnie Mouse um, so I'm taking those the last time I went we went to um, Bibbity Bobbity Boutique um, and she had um, a full makeover hair makeup and everything and her hair in a little bun with her crown on so obviously this time um, we're not doing that I have instead brought her dress up with us and I'm bringing her crown back and I'm gonna do her hair um, so one of the days she can walk around the park if she wants to in her fancy dress with this um, and no one knows any different really um, but also she gets to wear it again which which means that you know she's getting the use out of it um, same with the clips so I do her hair in two little bunches put her clips in and she'll be Minnie Mouse for the day um, so yeah um, I think that's all I've got to tell you at the moment but I am going to be taking some video while I'm out there um, I've been going to Disney for quite a while now and I absolutely love it, love it, never get bored of it um, and I just want to impart some wisdom if I have any. <laughs> um, I can walk into any park now and tell you where pretty much every ride is so hopefully I can um, give everyone else some information. Anyway, um, I will probably next see you when I'm in the park um, and celebrating my husband's 40th birthday um, and our wedding anniversary out there so we're going to have a great time um, and I will see you later bye